A military hero and Clemson icon has died. Ben Scarden had lived 104 vibrant years. Jane Robolo joins us now to share more on his life and his legacy. Jane. Well, Michael and Carol, Ben Scarden was a retired Army colonel and Clemson University professor emeritus. He was a mentor to generations of students. The last of Beverly Ben Scarden's many accolades came this past Saturday during Clemson's Military Appreciation Day. The retired Army colonel was honorarily promoted to Brigadier General. General Scarden passed away just two days later. His great legacy is the story of how his Clemson ring saved his life. It saved my life, but, but based on what Henry Notice did with it to bring me back to life. In World War II, Ben Scarden survived the Bataan Death March and was a prisoner of war. He'd hidden his Clemson ring from his captors. But when malaria hit and his death seemed certain, two fellow Clemson alum, Henry Leitner and Otis Morgan, traded Scarden's ring for food that would save his life. It's a story today's Clemson students know well. Just last month, General Scarden enjoyed seeing his famous ring presented in the ATO fraternity's homecoming display. After World War II, Scarden served in the Korean War, retiring at the rank of Colonel, honored with two silver stars, two bronze stars of valor, and the Purple Heart. He's also a recipient of the Congressional Gold Medal. In 2017, Clemson University celebrated General Scarden's 100th birthday, and Governor Henry McMaster presented the South Carolina native with the Order of the Palmetto. Well, I'm proud that today we dedicate this flagpole in honor of the great Colonel Ben Scarden. Another great honor came in 2015. Former student and lifelong friend David Stallmaker made a gift to Ipte to name the flagpole inside Memorial Stadium in honor of Ben Scarden. That flagpole is just across the street from Clemson's Scroll of Honor, marking the names of Clemson students who gave their lives for their country, including Henry Leitner and Otis Morgan. And there can't be anything any better or more honorable a uh, thing that settles my soul than being down there in spirit with Henry and Otis. General Ben Scarden is survived by four children and their families. His wife of 71 years, Betsy, passed away in 2019. Now, right now, funeral arrangements for General Scarden are still being made. WIFF News 4 will continue to keep you updated on those plans. Carol?